the next winner of the Force FX lightsaber will be announced this Friday, so be sure to enter before time runs out. Subscribe, like the video, and comment which lightsaber you want to win in order to enter. Now let's begin with the video. In a recent interview, Mark Hamill disclosed that the original ending for Star Wars The Force Awakens was far different than it was when we finally got to see it on film. It was revealed by Mark Hamill that Luke was supposed to have a major force display at the end of the film, signifying his growing power in the light side. As Rey approached Luke Skywalker, this was supposed to be his big moment and true show of power. This is the full quote. When we were doing Seven, Ryan said, oh by the way, we might have boulders floating to show your force emanating. So I was led to believe that I still had the force and it was really strong with me. In fact, when I read for Eight, before Seven had come out, I said what? And called for JJ or Ryan and say, are you guys aware of this? Have you seen a cut? Is there floating boulders? And they said no, we caught that and we worked it all out. This is still an interesting concept though and change, and of course would not have made sense as Mark Hamill pointed out, as Luke was cut off from the Force for the first half of The Last Jedi. Something compelling, however, is that the floating boulders actually do have grounds within the Star Wars mythos. In Legends, Jedi were tested below the Jedi Temple with seven stones, known as the Muntur Stones. These stones began at a weight of over a ton, and the largest of which was over five tons. These stones were meant as a training exercise and test for Jedi, as they saw how powerful they truly were with the Force and telekinesis. Many Jedi, mostly masters, would attempt to lift the stones while meditating, while Padawans would just attempt to lift them at all. If a Jedi Padawan could even slightly move even a single boulder, it was considered a huge accomplishment. Although never confirmed, there have only ever been two Jedi in Legends that have lifted all seven stones, those Jedi being Ferlin Snee and Grandmaster Yoda himself. However, Yoda failed to lift all seven as he grew older and could only levitate about five at the time we encounter him in Revenge of the Sith. So this is likely where the inspiration of this Luke scene came from at the end of The Force Awakens, as Luke Skywalker was likely going to be built up as some supremely powerful Jedi Master. A Jedi Master able to lift several huge boulders just as Yoda and others had before him. Ultimately though, it was cut from the film, but is a good indicator of Luke Skywalker's immense power in the Force and the thought that we are just barely starting to learn more about his near unrivaled connection to it. But leave your thoughts in the comments below, and as the big question for this video, should this scene have been cut, and should Luke Skywalker have cut himself off from the Force? Also, based off of this, how powerful do you think Luke Skywalker truly is? Again, don't forget to enter the lightsaber giveaway and post a comment down below. May the Force be with you, and have a great day.